All right, folks, welcome to this exciting video where once again you join me in the middle of the Scottish countryside. And I was just taking a little walk up by Loch Chandra when I noticed on the hill there was a couple of old, like, abandoned little buildings and stuff like that. So I thought we'll just take a little walk up the field there and here. Look, I've never actually seen these buildings before and I've never done a video on them. So it'll be cool just to hear, look, if they are abandoned. There's one halfway up the hill and it looks, it looks like it's just a few walls, but then there's one farther up the hill. Looks like it's still got a roof and that on it, but no windows, so. Yeah, it's always cool to explore some abandoned locations and see what history is there. See what remains of the past. It's cool how all these old little walls just go like round over the whole countryside. And look at this view. Absolutely incredible, folks. This is a crazy adventure, folks. Look at this. There's waterways right over this hill here. The house is just up on the, the grassy embankment. But I've just noticed, I think there's cows in this same area. So, obviously to the landowner now, I come with the greatest of respect. I'm just here to document the history. It must have been a little croft or something out here at one time. Wow, look, I'm on the middle of a bog. I need to be super careful. Oh, I've got the wellies on, folks, so I'm not too bad, but can there could be deep holes in a bog less. It's like six foot deep. This is crazy, folks. Real adventures right here. Yeah, and this is crazy. Like I love the, the character of like the old stone buildings has just been left and abandoned and the way that nature can take over. Okay, and it's worth documenting. And it's so much fun making these videos and the adventure to get to these places. It's so cool. It's so windy at this point in the valley. I can now see the cows. This is crazy, folks. I'm so out of breath walking up this hill. But look, we're nearly at the ancient structure. Look at this, folks. This is like just some walls that remains here now at the edge of the field. I'm so out of breath. I've just come right up that hill. Loch Chandra's way down there in the distance. But I was trying to get up the hill before the cows came over. Because I don't know how boisterous they are. Look at this. There's been a door latch or something in there at one time. Look at that, it's maybe where the wood's been chapped in. Okay, but there is still wood in that hole. That's where the door frame would have been held on. Yeah, this is crazy, folks. Look at this. It's had a big fireplace at this far end here. Oh, I look, it's had like that side of the fire there's got a cavity kind of bit on it. And then look, this is what we saw in the fireplace, like at the Museum of Isla and other places where we've seen old fireplaces. They've got stuff like that for the old equipment at the fireside. Okay, it's been quite a big fire in this building at one time then. Anyway folks, I'm going to head up and then I'm going to get out of this field because I think there's like another house up here that I can see which looks like it's in a bit better condition than this one. But literally like with these places, if, if it's totally like sealed up and that, we're not going in. I never ever force my way into places. I just like looking at the the history of the old buildings and seeing what's left away up here on the hill. This sort of building's here put up with all weathers. And look at that, that would have been a thriving wee house at one time. Maybe a little croft with some outbuildings over here. Yeah. And there's like another stone structure over there. I'm wary for walking about here if there's cows kicking about because I can I'm not out here trying to upset any livestock. See, there's been big structures all around here. 
Look at this, folks. This might have been part of like a mill wheel or something. What a cool bit of history that is. Look at this, folks. This is incredible. This little abandoned house. I wonder what history lies within it. Look at this, this fence is already like down. So I'm able to step over it. It's like the posts have rotted it. Out. Anyway, let's take a look at this. This fits in with the spooky Halloween month, folks. I was doing some spooky Halloween videos this month at scary houses. Look at this one. I didn't even know I would be at a scary house today. Wow, what a view at this house. Out the windows of this place. It's just magical what you can see. Be interesting to see if there's any old fixtures and things all out the roof, it's just totally knackered. Oh, when? It's probably so dangerous to go in, folks. Never, never go in here if you're ever up this way. Because it's not just the roofs, it's the floors. Everything can give way eventually. Wow, I just want to peek through here. Look at this abandoned history, folks. Oh, this is just like a little cupboard. I'll get my torch on. Here we go, folks. Wow. Lath and plaster. Look at these old doors. It's so cool to come and do these abandoned explorers, folks. You can see small bits of history. There's been a wee cupboard and stuff. It's so much better now we're in out of the wind. I really don't trust these floors. That's just like another cupboard in there as well. This must have been like a proper little house in its day. Wow. Look at this folks, it's crazy to keep documenting these old places like. Like I say, I take the landowner, I come with the greatest of respects. I'm not here to damage in or knock it and down. Just cool to look at the history and imagine the families that would have lived here at one time. Yeah, it's so cool. Look at these old chairs. And there's still a kettle on the stove. Wow, look at the detail of these old chairs. It was probably last inhabited in like the 50s or in this place. Look at the old fireplace with the kettle. It's probably been sitting there since it made its last copy. It is cool to video all this stuff before it's like down forever because you can see the state of this, like this floor and stuff. Okay, there's no way you could walk about up there. Wow, it's just old school history, folks. It looks like a stone floor in this kitchen area. And there's like been a larder. So this must have been the kitchen at this end. I think, I'm not sure if that's the front door. There's so much wind blowing in this window off the hill. It's no wonder places like this deteriorate and degrade with the, the Scottish weather. Wow. Oh, this is the bathroom, folks. This is so cool. There's an old like bed frame. There's Harry Potter's bedroom under there. An old toilet as well. Real history folks. The old metal bath. Literally the floor the floor here is just on its last legs. Look at the colour as well. An old paint. So I'm not sure when a house like this would have been fitted out, but a long, long time ago. Probably 1920s and 30s maybe even. This is crazy here folks, like, I was literally just getting a photograph of this door and it closed 
like it closed round, but it must be the wind that caused it. But with these Halloween specials like that, did get look at the doors moving, the doors going, folks, moving by itself. I do believe it is the wind, so I'll be honest with you. Okay, and that's not an incredible paranormal activity unless if the wind wasn't blowing. Okay, look at it. Ghost activity, folks. <laughs> Let's carefully make our way through every footstep in our house like you have to be so careful. Like there's no point in even going up the stairs because they're so like unsafe. I'll just take a little peek up here. Look at this folks. I'm never going on to that floor, but I'll just give you an essence of like it's been quite a big house up here. There's been water tanks and stuff in there. And then, yeah, another bedroom with the small panes of glass. That's almost like mid 1800s styling. So it could be an 1800s house. But it has been so cool to come back and just document another abandoned house, which is on its last legs. We've done it again in this video, folks. Look at that, the old door there. It's got so much character. This would, this would have been the main outside door of the wee house at any time. But now it's had this little porch here put onto it. And yeah, what an adventure it is coming to a place like this, folks. Yeah, and obviously, yeah, if you try to walk a bit up in the next story, it's likely to come down and yeah, you would totally damage the place. But yeah, it's interesting to see what I did see. I think there's been a fox or something living in here. Eating some crows. And yeah, what a character. Look at the old, like, plaster work and stuff around the top. It's a shame it's starting to crack. But yeah. Another adventure, folks. Another house. These houses are getting more few and far between. It's like find a new, finding like a new one to explore. It's so special, but you really just can't push it too far in these old houses and try and go climbing around up get on the second story when they're in that condition. It'll just fall down. Yeah, folks, let's head on out. What an adventure it's been. Kind of looked around and seen the history that's left here. Yeah, it looks like because it's so far up on the hill here, nobody must come and explore it. And like, like I say, I come with the greatest respect to the house owner and that. Yeah, I leave things as I find them. Look at that, the outside of this house, it's just an abandoned wonder. Over the years, there's probably been water and stuff going in and through. And, like degrading all the woodwork and the brickwork. Eventually all the plaster and stuff just degrades and before you know it, in a house like this is just too far gone to do much weight. You often hate to strip them back to like their original kind of four walls and then go for there. But I've really enjoyed coming and seeing the character of this house. Yeah, it's quite a cool special place. With a view over here for Lochandra. That's where I was walking along Loch Chandra when I noticed this up on the hill and I thought it just looked abandoned folks so that's what we're about on this channel. Document abandoned history and spooky houses like this for Halloween month folks. Check this out Ken. It is often eerie coming to these houses. It would probably be worse at night. This was probably just like a farm worker or something that lived in this house. Or it could have been a little croft kind of on its own. But yeah. I'll get a photograph of it for here. So I was just getting a couple more photographs before I head out here. And I noticed a couple of old... That's a good angle there, but I've just noticed, like, this old sink. It's so incredible. Like, I love the old architecture of houses like this, when the sink's just, like, decayed, like... The way it just sits in this room here like that, it's just such a scene, it's got such an atmosphere.
Yeah, so it was crazy. I, th I was going to go away and then I thought I'll take a couple more photos and I was... It is cool to notice that extra detail, like, just before I go. And just look at this old banister, like, leading up there. It is spooky and eerie though, folks. I tell you, that's another vibe that is in here. Yeah, and just the way it's abandoned and stuff, you can just imagine at one time it was like a happy home. One day people just stopped living in it and then since then till now it's just degraded and slowly disappeared back into nature. Wow. I'll just make my way back out of here folks. It's been such an adventure. It is really windy today but at least it's not raining like it was when me and the channel DJ went on that adventure the other day. It does look eerie with the dark windows, like when houses don't have window frames but they still have their roof. The windows always have a really dark kind of look, an eerie, spooky vibe. A house like that has just been perfect for this Halloween season, folks. It's so cool to do this on the channel at certain times of year. You can go to the spooky places at Halloween because most places around here are not spooky. The wind is just so strong, I cannot even believe it. Just look at this view in front of me, folks. That's why it's so windy. We're right up here on top of this hill. But, like, I came up that way, but on the way back, I'm going to just try and go a different route because I think there's a road along there. Anyway, I'll update you once we're out of the wind. So it's a lot nicer down here out of the wind. But I just have to figure out if I can cross this stream or not. I hope it's not too deep to get across. It's quite a drop down there to get to the edge of it. Might be easier to cross up here. This is crazy folks, it's good fun to try to get across the stream often. At least I've got wellies on, which makes it a lot better. Whoa, I'm slapping it in here. This is like frog paradise right here. It looks pretty deep, to be honest with you. Wow, it's really, really deep, folks. This could be the point here, folks. I'll be able to jump from there to there. As long as I don't slap. Here we go. That's it, we made it. We made our crossing. Sometimes you just have to read the land on these adventures. It's incredible, like you have to just pick the right spot to get across or you can end up disappearing in a bog if you're no careful. Like this bit here, I have to get up to this fence line. So I have to navigate my way through this piece of bog land here. You can't describe a boggy hill to somebody that's no seen him, but like look at it. It's like it's like a pond of weeds and the whole ground's just saturated. And it's like this whole hill, you would think, how can the water be sitting here like that when there's a whole hill down there that should be running away? But it's the nature of like the plantation, well the plants and that all around it, holds the water up here on the hill. But sometimes between the plants you can get deep holes. Can a human can disappear in a peat bog if they're not careful. So yeah, I'm, I'm literally just pathfinding my way up this hill, like it's crazy conditions. So I thought the forest road was through this gate folks and look, it's just like overgrown wilderness through the gate as well. But I'm hoping the road's just a wee bit further up here. It has been such an adventure to come along the other day. Looks like this here has been an old road at one time, leading on down the hill. This must be the new road up here. Right folks, that's me back up onto this forest road. It was such a cool adventure going through that bog and 
trying to navigate my way up to that place. Once I saw it in the distance, I thought it'd be so cool to see if it is like an abandoned house or just four walls. And I think we just caught it in time to document those little historical pieces within it. And like the fireplace and the seats and even the bathroom fittings and stuff like that. It's so cool to see that before the roof and that falls down in there, which can that second floor looks like it'll fall down any day now. Yeah, it's cool to video and show it to the world before it's too late. Yeah, but anyway folks, thanks very much for watching. I'll end this video here and I'll see you very soon with the next adventure, wherever I end up going.